Hello friends, welcome to the Seated Scribe, a channel where we discuss pens and writing and I am Rudrashish Dutta. Friends, today we shall look eastwards and focus on Taiwan which has emerged as an important fountain pen manufacturing hub in the last decade. The country of the Twisby, Taiwan has recently seen one of its other band, Penlux, emerge higher in the worldwide sales charts thanks to a wonderfully committed theme department which designs their products as works of art. Hence, a Penlux pen is likely to throw a number of theme-based, color-based or design-based choices to buyers other than the obvious choices in Mibage. Today, we shall look at their Delgado Euploia, a butterfly-themed and colored pen in fine nib. Examine the pen in some detail and take a writing sample. So friends, without any further delay, let us go to the pen, the unboxing and the review. Well friends, uh, the pen Lux Delgado Euploia has come in a shrink wrap sealed box like this which I will now open. So there is an outer sleeve and through this slit we get the name of the company and this outer sleeve also contains some details of uh, the pen brand and the importer's details. So let me open this and put aside the sleeve. And this is the actual box that houses the pen. Okay, so it is couched in a sponge sheet. We have the pen in a plastic box and beneath this bed we have a documentation and filling, filling manual let me keep it aside and a certificate of warranty as they say well it's a certificate of warranty and so this is it so let me keep it aside and look at the content of this plastic sleeve we see the pen as well as Oh well, so they have actually put in a some instruction manual to the customer in a see-through plastic sheet like this. This is something unique which I usually did not find, which I never found actually in other pens. The fact that this is a piston filler which means the end of the barrel section will have to be engaged to open the pin so this is an important manual I believe they have done this to ensure that buyers notice or else uh, we generally tend to disregard the paperwork part of these packets so let me keep it aside and look at the pin so this is the Penlux Delgado Aloipia. Now Aloipia incidentally is a species of butterflies native to Taiwan and parts of Southern and Southeast Asia 
which also has the nickname of the crow because of their dark color and if I bring the pen close to the camera as you can see the design of the pen is essentially dark themed the resin is shiny and the finial at the top of the cap is almost semicircular as you can see there is a clip and the end of the clip is the typical Penlux logo as you can see here shaped three dimensionally and the clip is medium stiff it's not too stiff and it is held in place by a band just below the finial and this rose gold colored band of the it it has pen lux punched on it yes so it's pen lux punched on it it's more on the wider side now this pen is threaded and it opens in just under two rotations and with regard to the clip <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry there is an inner plastic sheet and this resin is translucent as you can see the shadows of my fingers are apparent in the inner threads of this pen so this is a translucent resin let me keep the cap aside and look at the pen well so this nib i have opted for the fine nib and we can see the f of the fine punched here well this is a stainless steel jovo nib number six size nib uh, with the penlux logo inscribed on it and penlux usually offers variations in fine medium broad and 1.1 millimeter stub nib so there is a flare at this end of the gripping section after which it slightly narrows down and there's a gradual tapering to the thread now this is a thread that will actually engage with the inner threads of the cap and will not open this section so this section is actually one continuous section since this is a piston filler it is this part that will be rotated clockwise or anti-clockwise to fill up the chambers of the ink in the barrel so this is it there is a step up here of around a millimeter or so as i can see and the pen is girthiest at this point after which it tapers down and we see a rather longish finial at this end well this part is rather long we don't see finials at the barrel end this long uh, this long in piston fillers but nevertheless that is what it is and it is this part that has to be rotated to push down the piston and rotate it clockwise to pull up the piston with the ink. 
so this is an eye catching pen at first sight the design is clearly themed as per the butterfly of the species now we'll be taking a writing sample to see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances i had opted for the fine nib because uh, with regard to the choices that are available in the nibbage of pen lux not every retailer may have all nib width variations with particular colors or themes so it may be likely that a fine nib version with the alopia theme uh, may be available but a medium nib version of the same theme may not be available with the same seller or stockist this is something which i have seen with most uh, wholesalers or retailers who stock pen lux pens so <clears throat> this is all that i had the pen feels very robust it's more or less on the lighter side we'll be taking a weighing sample as well after i ink up the pen it's on the more or less on the lighter side and uh, let me see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances friends i have inked up this pen with the jamin imperial blue which is a slightly wetter than usual ink and we will see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances so here we go Well, the pen is a wet one. The fine is a wet one, and I obviously guess the medium would have been more thicker and wetter. But this may just be right for this use under everyday writing circumstances. But there are no feedbacks or scratches of any nature. now the nib is a stiff steel nib so i am not sure there will be variations no there are no variations whatsoever of the calligraphy type so no variations no variations in nib width or thickness but this is a very very fine writer and uh, another thing that is immediately catching my mind is uh, the balance of the pen now this is a pen that holds an enormous amount of ink uh, i guess it is somewhere around 1.1 ml so compared to that the pen has a remarkable balance in, in in fact i i do feel that it's gelled as it were with the grip of my fingers so this is it and well the pen can surely be posted and posted very securely but uh, the posting may not be disturbing in terms of an addition of weight but uh, it may seem a bit unwieldy in terms of length i mean it's not necessary in itself the pen has sufficient length to accommodate even a large hand so this is the pen lux uploya a butterfly themed pen now there are two issues with regard to this pen friends which i would like to tell you at the outset the first is there is a debate as to whether pen lux pens are value for money and one of the primary reason why 
this debate is uh, engaged is because pens with similar acrylic designs and uh, this jovo nibs they usually are sold in sometimes one third of the price of a pen lux so there are this is a debate which has gone on for quite some time and uh, it will go on uh, since this is an entirely personal choice as to uh, whether a pen uh, which provides unique writing samples can be a good value for money uh, in at a particular price range but uh, penlux pens usually do not disappoint users this is the third penlux that i am using and in the last 4 years or so of my use of penlux pens i have never been disappointed with the writing performance or the quality issue of penlux now how far that can be made equivalent to a particular price uh, is something that i would leave to individual users but this is an issue that has often bothered some users as to whether penlux pens are good value for money or whether they are overpri overpriced this is one aspect of it <coughs> sorry the other aspect of it is penlux pens usually carry with it the added burden of being associated with another taiwanese brand which is twisby so compared to a twisby penlux pens often face unfair competition or comparison if i may call it with regard to quality issues with regard to a nibbage with regard to uh, the ability of a user to have the pens cleaned totally something that uh, is very readily done or that can be readily done with a twisby pen so this is another issue that often is a topic of debate among users of taiwanese pens but the upside of it is that taiwanese pen manufacturing has gone out of the shadows of the typical chinese pen manufacturing <coughs> and as such uh, in itself taiwan may just be an emerging powerhouse in terms of fountain pen manufacturing independent of Uh, mainland china so this is all that i have to tell you with regard to this pen lux pen i'll be obviously taking a weighing sample because i feel that information of weight can be relevant for some of you since this is an a larger than average pen so when inked the pen with the cap weighs 27.45 grams and without the cap the pen weighs 17.50 so the, the weight is fairly fairly manageable it will never <coughs> be a bother to even long time users of the pen lux So thank you friends for watching this review I'll be back with another review in a few days till then keep safe and goodbye